everybody it's been a while since I've done a ooh, this is really glary but oh well it's been a while since I've done a car um, live periscope and it's because I believe in following my instincts and this morning I just had the instincts to drive an hour to visit my mom for a week so I just packed my laptop because you, you know we have to have our laptops my laptop and a, a few clothes and I hit the road and I just uh, arrived so this will be a quick one because she doesn't even know I'm here so I'm gonna be surprising her but I wanted to talk to you about um, the inclusion no, the tech inclusion scorecard is here. I mentioned this in the video, Shit to Get Off the Pot, because I am very much up to here, can I, up to there, with tech events claiming, sup, sup, uh, promoting themselves, um, checking off boxes that they are creating inclusive and, um, diverse spaces for anyone to attend, but particularly if you're inviting people from underrepresented or marginalized communities to attend, to speak, to sponsor, whatever, in every way, in any way, if you expect them to be there, we have to do a better job. And at this point, I'm just, I'm just, I have the confidence, and this is not a political thing, I have the confidence of Donald Trump at this point. That's what I can appreciate. If no, if you, if people ask me about him, I don't talk political. But what I can tell you is he has confidence. In all the years that I've been following him, before even the political stuff, when his books came out and when his before so, uh, pr Apprentice, he's always had confidence. He does not let some what someone else's opinion of him dictate his value whether you agree with it or not he is consistent and so i figure if i take that and ma and ma match that or marry that with the empathy that i've, I've been able to develop i'll be kick ass or i am kick ass so with this i am about to put some people on front street put some organizations events on front street and i'm not doing it to hurt your feelings I'm not. What I'm, why I'm doing it is because you have gotten away with or you want to get away with saying that you're an inclusive and diverse event and you're not. You haven't done the work to earn that title. That people who earn, do, uh, who have inclusive and diverse events have worked for it. They have put the time and effort into it. And that's what it takes. Stop looking for simple solutions to complex problems. And so, uh, I'm going to start um, with, so the scorecard is coming out. Um, and and, I'm, I'm, and what's really getting to me, really why I wanted to talk about this, because I knew this would come up yesterday at Global Diversity CFP Day. And thank you, Peter, um, uh, and the team, all, all the volunteers um, worldwide who participated in this event, because it was, it was life-changing for so many attendees. But I knew this question would come up, and I don't know if it happened in other um, locations, but I knew being in Atlanta, this question would come up, that it's, you're asking people from underrepresented and marginalized communities who've already been treated poorly in this community, in, the, in their organizations, in these commun tech communities, to now put themselves at risk on being on the stage. And they're Neat. And there were uh, many concerns about that. And so I addressed it at my event, um, the way I address things. Um, but I know this is a bigger issue. And this is why I'm um, creating this this scorecard for the people who don't have a platform like me for the people who want to have who have a voice and just are too afraid to get on the stage because some person, some community will make them feel less than unwelcome unsafe and this is not acceptable anymore it's done I'm done I have no more excuses we have no more excuses for it so just know that I'm working on um, this scorecard and I can tell you the scorecard I had in mind at the beginning is not the one I have in mind now one of the questions that I and I'm and I'm not gonna share it right now because I'm just thinking about it but one of the questions that came to my mind when we talk about inclusion and diversity always and we and we think about oh I have a diverse um I have a diverse um what am I trying to say um 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 uh, speakers that's not the only thing about inclusion and diversity you need to be thinking about so I'm gonna give you this one tip if you're call yourself creating an event 
in the technology space that is welcoming for all, in particular people from underrepresented and marginalized communities, and you have not thought to include service providers, that's video, videographers, photographers, caterers, whatever, service providers that um, are, or service provider businesses that are owned and operated by people of marginalized and underrepresented communities, you have not thought enough. You have not thought enough. These are the things that it takes. These are the steps that it takes to create an, an event that's inclusive for all all i'm not saying that you have to hire them because they might they're they for a number of reasons pricing um stipulations whatever they might not work for you have you considered them have you considered them so that's one takeaway so this is this scorecard is not going to be easy for you to beat because not only are you going to have to complete a survey but i will be interviewing you before i provide my my recommendation my score and then as i said before I will be reaching out to people who attend your event and have them evaluated. So you will be doing, I will be doing secret shoppers. So I just wanted to say that because, um, it was necessary. Um, and I'm about to get in here. It's finally stopped raining. Um, and I'm about to get out of my car because the sun is shining and anybody who knows me knows that I'm a sun lover. So I'm about to get out of this car and, um, go surprise my mom. But just know that the tech inclusion scorecard is coming. And if you think, if you think, that your event will, will stand the test, or if you feel that you need help, reach out to me at event support at kimcrayton.com. So that's event support at k-i-m-c-r-a-y-t-o-n.com. I am um, providing the scorecard which is going to be free for everybody, but I'm also providing consulting and coaching services if you want to make sure your events are what you are promoting them are so that people are coming and they feel safe. That's all that matters. People need to feel safe and welcome. That's all that, that, that I'm asking for. And some of you guys are just failing at this. So have a wonderful Sunday. Goodbye.